In this seminar, we're going to show you how to create a donut to place inside a bandage. Just so we're all on the same page, the purpose of the donut is to protect a bony protuberance from the bandage itself. So it is important that your bony protuberance does not protrude through the whole of your donut. The idea being that the bandage material itself will actually lay over the donut rather than over the bony protuberance. The easiest way to create a bandage is to grab a roll of cling and just start by wrapping it around your hand as you can see in the top two pictures. Wrap it enough times that you feel you have a bit of volume to what's going to be the base of your donut. Once you have that, pull it off of your hand and start taking that roll of cling and making it go around the bandage. So inside the hole, outside the hole, and keep on going around until you can appreciate by the picture on the bottom right that you've got a donut. Create it the thickness that you feel you need for your patient. Once it's thick enough, you can stop. You don't have to tie it off or anything. Just let it be. It's going to live inside the bandage. Another nice technique that Jennifer likes to use is to start with some cast padding instead of cling. So she's wrapping the cast padding around her hand and now she is going to use cling to start creating the, I'm going to call it donut part of the bandage by going inside the hole and back out and around the bandage material, the original cast padding material itself. She continues with the cling around the original cast padding until she has a bandage, a donut, about the size, thickness that she wants it to be and applies it over the bony protuberance that she is looking to protect. We do a lot of bandaging in our practice, so when the techs have some downtime, they just tend to create some donuts. So we always have various sized donuts um, ready to go in our clinic. This is Jennifer demonstrating just making a much smaller donut. So rather than wrapping the cling uh, around her hand, she's just wrapping around a couple of fingers and she is just using a one inch wide cling. I personally find these ones are harder to make because your starting point is so much smaller, but the technique is exactly the same. I just want to remind you that decubital ulcers can be prevented and managed using a donut, but also the amount of tension that you place on your bandage has a lot to do with preventing the bandage from rubbing on the protuberance itself. So a loose bandage is going to be more uncomfortable and more likely to create a decubital ulcer than a well-fitting bandage. Just think of uh, when you go hiking with a shoe that's too big and you end up with blisters on your feet because your foot just rubs within the shoe. So it's the same effect. So don't just think of donuts when you're thinking decubital ulcers. Think of appropriate tension on your bandage. I do hope you have found this information helpful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.